Hi, everybody. I'm here. Here I am. Keith the Robo Duke. Uh, sorry I was gone for a bit. Some things have happened. Not bad things, just things. Been kind of busy. <laughs> Taking care of stuff. But, I'm here again. It's Friday. So thank Beezus. It is Friday. I'm gonna play one of my favorite games ever. Uh, this is like top 10 games for me. It is Shadowgate, uh, specifically the Nintendo version, which this is, in, uh, but we are playing this in the Mac Venture, the like Adventure Anthology. I can't remember what it's called. It's got Shadowgate, The Uninvited, and Deja Vu. I never played Uninvited or Deja Vu. I have tried them on here. <laughs> I do not find them as easy as this, but the reason I find this easy is um, I had a neighbor, my best friend, as a kid, uh, Joe McFadden, and he had this game. His family had this game. He had two brothers and a sister, big Irish family in Delco. Um, and we played this game for weeks and, and figured it out. Me, him, uh, his two brothers, his dad actually helped us with some of the puzzles. We got really, really hooked on this game on Nintendo, and, uh, we completed it, and it's something I have played again and again over the years. Um, probably somewhere along the way I had to refresh my memory on some things or refigure it out. I'm not sure, but at this point... I should be able to play this, and beat this, in about an hour. It should take me, all things considered. If it takes me longer, it takes me longer. It's been a while. I did have a file there where I had completed the game. But, uh, we're gonna start from the beginning. The last thing that you remember is standing before the wizard Lackmere as he waved his hands. Now you find yourself staring at an entryway which lies at the edge of the forest. The druid's words ring in your ears. Within the castle, Shadowgate lies your quest. The dreaded warlock lord will use his black magic to raise the behemoth from the dark depths. The combination of his evil arts and the great titan's power will surely destroy us all. You are the last of the line of kings, the seed of prophecy that was foretold eons ago. Only you can stop the evil one from darkening our world forever. Fare thee well. Gritting your teeth, you swear by your god's name that you will destroy the warlock lord. Uh, I'm not sure who my god is, but... We swear by his name. So, we have nothing. We are carrying nothing. Uh, we're at the door to the castle Shadowgate. Um, let's go. We're gonna open a skull. <gasps> As if by magic the skull rises. Take. Grab that key. Now, take the key. We gotta go down here. A lot of extra stuff. Use key on the door. Oh, interesting. I always forget. You get that key there, but this it's as simple as that. You just open the door. It's the door leading into the castle shadow gate. Alright. Like the little mini map shows you what direction you should go. Oh, spooky eyes. a fool to send a buffoon like you to stop me. You will surely regret it, for the only thing here for you is a horrible death. The sound of maniacal laughter echoes in your ears. Uh, so the first thing you always want to do in every room in this game, grab them torches. Door's locked. Oh my God, the sensitivity on this is crazy. The key doesn't fit in there. Uh, hold on, I gotta check something. Is there a? 
Okay, so there's no way to... I was trying to see if I could turn down the sensitivity, because... So this movement speed is using the directional pad. This is using the left stick. And this is using the touchpad. You can actually use it like a little... Like one of those mouse touchpads. But I don't know if you can, like, click with it. Can I, like, tap things with it? No, you can't tap things with it, though. That would be kind of cool. Oh, you can, actually! You have to hit it! So you can, so you could, technically, like, sort of, yeah, that's really hard, though. <laughs> I'm not used to using that, uh, take, oh, no, I meant, uh, use. Click, the key worked, it unlocked the door. We gotta go forward first. Stone walls seem uncomfortably close as you walk down the stairs. All right, we're gonna. I'm gonna. We're gonna save. Uh, and I'm gonna show you guys a little something. So there is a book here. We got. I think we can just look at it, right? It's an ancient tome. It seems that no one has disturbed its pages for centuries. All right, well, I guess we should take the book then, right? When you remove the book from its pedestal, the floor collapses, and you fall to your death. I remember when that did this to us the, fir the first time. Like, I was like, w w what? Like, a game just straight up being like, you're dead. Like, not like, a, you know, Mario falls off the screen. Do -do 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 you know, oh, you're... It doesn't say, you are dead. And, and this game would straight up just be like, you're, you're, you're dead. You died. What are you gonna do? Nothing. You're dead. No retry. Hope you're saved. Uh, so the trick here is, as we, I, I remember us being like, wait, we can't pick it up. Oh, let's, let's just open the book. The book is open and examined. A uh, rectangular hole has been cut out of the inside of the book. So you can see over here on the left, at the top, it says book, because that's what we're looking in now. Uh, we're gonna take that key. We'll take the key. We're going to take a torch and this torch. Now you notice that torch had like markings on it, like it, it the handle had some like there was something different about it. Uh, let's close the book. So the book's up on my screen here. So uh, we close the book. You can see here are torches. We have to keep a torch burning. If the torch starts going out, the music will change. If we let the torch go out, we're dead. So you're, you're kind of on a time limit. You can only explore and do so much. You, you can screw up. Very classic adventure game. Uh, but that other torch is separate. It has its own spot. So it's a special torch. Um, so we have the second key. We're going to go back. In the long hallway. Key number two on this door. Boom, key works. Now we will move into this little closet. Oh, as you enter, you can see a sword and a sling. Perfect. Let's take that sling. Let's take that sword. Let's back out of here. Okay. Let's keep moving. Oh, okay, this way is this. Uh, the stone in these walls were probably cut by the hands of enslaved mountain dwarves. What a shame. It's very dark. So, but the nice thing about this room is we can just... Oh, wait, did you hear that? So you can see our torch up there is, uh, going out. So what we want to do... No, we don't want to open the torch. We want to use... Torch... And boom, we light another torch, we have more time. And our music goes back to normal, so let's go right to left. Ooh, shark! A shark swims by as it patrolling this calm pool. Uh, so once again, let's... This may take me a little longer than an hour, because I'm going to indulge myself in dying and stuff. Uh, take the key. You can't reach from here, swimming in the shark infested pool would be suicidal. Can I just go? 
As you swim towards the skeleton, you feel the jaws of a shark grab you and pull you under. You curse yourself for using your body as bait. Even before the life has left your body, the lake will be filled with your blood. It's a sad thing. It's like, it's so dark! And when did it- hold on, I gotta look out when this came out first. Uh, Nintendo. Shadow Gate NES. So initially it came out in 87. If I'm looking at the right version of the game. Because I think one came out way earlier, because it was like black and white. Uh, gameplay. Maybe not. Maybe... The way it's black and white, yeah, it could have been 87, originally. Yeah, because 88 came out on DOS. It came out on in 88. So, I was 6? I mean, we did, we may have played this, you know, after it, but yeah, I was between like 6 and 8 years old playing this game with like, You're dead! Your The pool fills with your blood. It's brutal. Let's keep moving. Water cascades over a subterranean cliff into a cool, clean stream. Cool. So, what we're gonna need to do is take some rocks. Cool. Uh, you never get to go this way, that always annoyed me. Let's look. The, the landslide looks like it occurred ages ago. It would take you months to clear it away. Oh god, I'm taking way too long. Can I move the screen before I die? Okay. It says card, but that's your goods. Okay, I kind of went that way. I don't need to go that way, I don't think. But let's... I wanted to just see if that would kill me in the dark. The way is blocked by a landslide. No, so that way is moved there, but... We can move right into here. The walls in this room are much too close for comfort. The damp walls of this eerie cavern are rough and irregular. Uh, I'm pretty sure we can just hit this. You hit the rock as hard as you can! Pow! <gasps> the loose rocks fall down as if hinged to the wall. Nice. So let's open the bag. We got three jewels. Nice. Red, white gems. Just what we needed. All right. You could like take the bag and then open the bag, but it's easier if you just leave the bag there. Oh, we'll come back for that key. We have the gems. We can do some other stuff. Let's go this way. Uh, you enter a cold room. The stench of flesh. In decay. Flesh in decay. Right, yeah. I was like, is that grammatical? No, it is. The stench of flesh in decay pervades the small chamber. I begin to shiver. This room is really cold. Uh... Oh, wait. Got it. First thing first. I said it before. If I don't do it myself, let's get some torches. And there's a cool pedestal. What is this? It's a large pedestal with iron trim. There's something over here, too. Yo, Zach, miss you too, man. How's it going? It's a small hole in the wall, so three inches deep. Okay, so let's... Use... I think it's, uh, I think it's the red gem. The gem seems to fit, but nothing happens. Okay, no, it's... Try the white gem. <gasps> I love that magic noise. Uh, the gem fits perfectly in the hole. A small crystal sphere magically appears on the stand. Let's look at it in case it kills us. This crystal sphere is as cold as ice. That's why it's so cold in here. So let's take that sphere. Um, let's open this door. Can we just open it? Yeah. 
So, there, there are locked doors. I don't think there are too many locked doors. There's lots of locked things about. You too, man. Thanks for stopping by. I hope to see you very soon. Let's move into here. I love this room. Fear grips you as you enter this hot room. So, uh, what's down the hall? Let's move down that way. Oh my god. Whoosh. Flames sh suddenly shoot from the dragon's mouth. Dragon flames engulf your body. You pay for your curiosity with your life. It's a sad thing that your adventures have ended here. Oh! Oh! Dead. Again. So many good deaths in this game. <laughs> So, one thing about this room, just don't think about being little and, and figuring this out. We kept going in and, we're like, well, we can pick up stuff, we have a chance. So, the, the key being, pick up the shield. Boom. Pick up the shield, you put up the shield, you raise your shield just in time to block the dragon flame. Cool. Uh, now we can take one more, take another thing. Let's take the spear. Ooh. Thankfully, we have our shield. Again, flames spew forth. You use the shield for protection. It's getting hot! You don't know how much longer you can stand it, so... Key here. Oh, dude, this this is one of my favorite games ever. You're very welcome. I know this game in and out. I, I love this game. It's one of my absolute favorites. Like, literally everything about this game I love. Uh, I, I just... I love the, the designs of the rooms. It's got the helmet. Ah! So now we just have to move in and out. My torch is also running out? It's not playing the music, though. So I'm not going to worry about it yet. Bone. Everybody needs a good bone. Yes, the uh, the Game Boy version did have a black cartridge. I remember that. It was Game Boy uh, Color, I believe. I don't think it was. I don't know. I don't think it was original Game Boy. It might have been Game Boy Color. A few more things. I don't even know if I really need them, but we're going to take everything. Oh, the hammer? Yeah, we'll need the hammer. And one more thing. Got to back out one more time. This pile of gold is worth a king's ransom. The pieces have been melted together. So that's kind of the hint that he's been blowing the fire over it and melting the gold. Right? Alright, we're good. I wish we could slay you, dragon, but we cannot. That's another fun thing about this game, is in a lot of modern games, you're, you're presented with a creature, you know, a monster. And your goal is normally to kill it, to get past it. You just take what you can from that room and you leave. Like, you just like, alright, dragon, bye. Like, you just leave him there. You do not fight him, there's no... You know? Uh, which, you know... Makes me think of, uh... I heard someone describe this game once as the Dark Souls of adventure games. Uh, because it's brutal, we'll just kill you. Which I think... I think this one might kill me, let me see. Yep! A broken fragment of a wooden ladder hangs from the opening. As you go down the trapdoor, you realize you took a big step. The fall is quite fatal. Like, Dark Souls, man. Like, you dead. Oh, wait, there's a torch! Again, a flame fuse floors. Uh, it's getting hot. Okay, we can get out of here now. You don't need two skulls. Just one skull. So, once again, that door, just a trick. Just an evil trick if you go through that door. But we did find a spear. That we were told is cold as ice. So let's use the 
sphere on the water. You drop the sphere into the lake, and notice the ripples disappear as the water turns into ice. Right, now it's frozen with the shark underneath. Grab the key, number three. And I want my sphere back. But I can't take it, because it's frozen. But... on the water melts and then it refreezes torch melts away the ice over the sphere allowing it to float to the surface not surprisingly the lake quickly refreezes now we take back our freezy sphere and now we use a torch okay got that let's go back Ooh, the long, cold hallway is lined on either side by half a dozen coffins. So let's save. Uh, let's open some coffins. Uh, the lid of the coffin is open. <gasps> a mummy stands silently before you. Let's look at him. This carefully embalmed six-footer. <laughs> Who calls... What? <laughs> Pardon me. What? Who uses that phrasing? This certainly, this carefully embalmed six-footer. Like back in the day, they're embalming those pharaohs, and like, ah, oh, we got a six-footer here, boys. Cool. Um, well, you know what mummies hate? Mummies hate fire. Let's burn that mummy. The mummy bursts into flames, leaving behind a scepter among the ashes. <gasps> Let's take that scepter. We got a scepter. Now we are the Mummy King. Um, oh, so there's a really brutal thing you can do in this game. Uh, we figured out when, when we were kids, because you're sick of us to watch this. You... So, I think if I... I can't use helmet, or does it just say I'm already... Uh, what do you expect that hasn't happened? Uh, so wait, you can do this, though. Watch this. Use spear... Itself. You thrust spear into your chest, blood begins to flow. Suicide won't help in your quest. The Warlock Lord will surely triumph now. You can literally just kill yourself. Like, Jesus. Reading that as a kid, I'm like, oh my god, my character just lit what what? music is pretty much in, like, the back of my mind at all times. All the music in this game. It just, like, sits in the back of my brain. I think this is a bad one. Oh, no, that one's got the slime! Ooh, bag! Uh, open bag. Oh, come on! I gotta get more torches. Ooh, copper coin. Not a very rich fellow. Oh no! No pain, no nothing, you were sl Oh no, I forgot about that. I walked through the slime, and the slime melted me. Like, like, right? Like, so you just, you can't open that. If you open that, you can just sit there and be like, I'm gonna get this, I'm gonna get this, and then the game's just like, you dead. I think it was a no, it was no pain, like I just got eaten by the slime, I think it said. Is that what it said? I wanna do that again, hold on. This green slime is disgusting, so I tried to move? You try to pass this line, but it engulfs your body, dissolving it in seconds. You die instantly. No pain. No nothing. You were slimed. Oh. Like, oh, I, I, I both hate and love how absolutely mean this game is. 
I hated how mean it was as a kid. I love it now. That's because I, I know what to do. I forgot opening that one had the slime. I forgot which ones had what. So you just want to open basically the ones, uh, the two on the right. The other one on the left unleashes a banshee? I don't think it kills you. But, like, you don't need to open it. Like, you just be like, ah, whatever. Like, you just stay in there, banshee. Uh, so we got the copper coins. We got the scepter. We're running out of torch again. How low am I on torches? Am I not doing good on them? Ah, we'll see what happens. Now we can move safely because there's no slime. Okay, we're here. This room is full of mirrors. Reminds you of the Elven Funhouse at King Otto's Fair. I really like the world building with that. That somewhere there are a group of elves who run a like a funhouse, which is to say, elves are a bunch of clowns. Ha ha ha. We're gonna go back. We gotta go back. So now we're back here. Notice that this rock is different, and the best thing to do with rocks that are different. Stone falls away to reveal a secret passage! Oh god. Oh god. Yeah, as soon as you enter the room, you see an arrow on the front wall. So let's take... So this always was cool. Uh, so I can't take that torch. How about this torch? I can't take the torch? I can take one of these torches. Yes, I can. Are you serious? Well, what if I try to use it? I'm gonna try to use this one. I knew it was that one. You move the torch. It's a hidden door. There's a spiral staircase leading down. Give me this one, please. What do you mean I can't take it? regular... Well, I can take the silver arrow. Uh, so here's another... Like, I'm gonna move here! The ledge wasn't strong enough to hold you. You fall to the ground and land hard on your rump. So, I thought I was gonna die there, but you don't. You just kinda, like, fall on your butt. <laughs> which is funny. You stand at the edge of a deep chasm. From the darkness below rises the screams of the undead. This cave is hewn roughly in the chasm as well. So, if we look... The shabby bridge is held together with nothing but frayed ropes and rotten planks. The ropes are indeed bad condition. Uh, judging by the intricate workings, this bridge seems to be quite sturdy. So... Ready? Rickety bridge, eh? Who cares? As you reach the middle of the bridge, it collapses under your feet. The bridge won't hold you. You can't cross unless you lose some weight. Like, death around every corner. Just from walking. Let's go across this bridge. <gasps> What's this? A wraith is standing in your way, barring your path. Oh dear. How's it going, bro? I just, like, go by you? Hmm, it's too high for you to reach. Although you can't see this door over here, but apparently it's too high. Well, I gotta go, dude. You have to open the door. Oh, okay. Do you mind if I open this? You're afraid to get near it. Oh. It's a shadow wraith, a hideous specter who eternally walks the line between life and death. So I don't know if we did this by accident, so watch this. Torch. So this is the individual torch. Let's use it on him. You put the torch close to the wraith, but nothing happens. Hmm, there must be more than one way to do it. So we use this torch on... So I don't know why you get inspired to do this. <laughs> yeah, I do. 
I love this game, man. This game's the best. So good. Love this game. Uh, use this torch on the other torch. Oh, I can't do it! Wait, use torch on... Torch! Is that not right? Oh yeah, I gotta look into the Sega CD sequel to this, because I didn't even know that existed. Because there's like a modern day remake. I thought that's what I'm supposed to do. I'll talk to you later, man. Thanks for stopping by. What? That's totally... Okay. Is it because I have two torches burning? I'll move around a little bit. I'll wait for that other torch to go out. I'm willing to bet it's, it's that. We also missed a few things. Let's go back this way. Let's go this way. go down there yet, so I'm gonna save. I feel like I'm gonna die if I try to go down here. Oh no, we're good! Okay. Oh no, you jump down the hole, and after a couple moments, hit the floor. It seems that you have broken both of your legs. It's only a matter of time before you die. Ugh! I can't remember playing this game and being like... So my guy sits here with broken legs until he dies? Like, oh. What am I missing? What am I missing? What am I missing, guys? What am I missing? Got everything here. Okay, wait. Oh, I only have one torch. Okay, there we go. That's what I was trying to do. There we go. Use torch on torch. Wait. Oh no. You use. Oh, this is so. Watch. Use this torch on this torch. How dumb was that? I forgot about that. Oh my god. You try to use the torch on that torch. It's like, no, no, no. You gotta use that torch on that torch. Even though, like, what's the difference? You touch them together. Like, oh, well, anyway. The torch burns with a strange white flame. With a shout, you throw the flaming torch at it. I don't know why you're inspired to do that. But you're inspired to throw it at it. With a blinding flash, the white flame engulfs the undead apparition. When you open your eyes again, the wraith is gone. Let's take... The cloak. Let's look at it. This heavy cloak contains no frivolous ornaments, such as pockets or a hood. Uh... Kinda... Let's... Let's put it on! You try on the cloak and find it very unbecoming. It barely fits over your armor. It's fine. I'm still wearing it. And that's what's important. Can't put on the helmet, though. Okay, cool. Door's open. This music's always confusing because the torch is running out. Mm, it's too high for you to reach. You can't even see where it is. But you know there's a door there. And here's where we fell to our death. The small stone chamber is lined on one side by two barred portals. Uh, first things first, take a torch. Let's take some bottles. Who knows what could be inside? And a scroll. Okay, so let's open the scroll. Uh, the scroll one is open. Your hands begin to sweat because of your extreme excitement. Five to find, three are one. One gives access to the bladed sun, the silver orb to vanish below, the staff of ages to vanquish the foe. Joining two, the golden blade, the last to invoke, the platinum horn. Gobbledygook. Absolute gobbledygook. Let's look at this. The sign reads, Epor. Let's look at it again. Epor, Epor, Epor. You got it! It seems to be some sort of magic word. You've learned a magic spell. Just gotta look at it twice. I love that. What's wrong? Oh, sorry, my cat was freaking out. There's a loud noise. I have my window open because it's a beautiful day. So now we can speak. Epor. The spell was chanted. Epor? 
There are many strange things in this world. When you said the magic spell, the rope moved! Having stretched up to the hole, the rope stops moving. Now we have a way to go. But... Look at this. You see something weird here? You feel the ground shake as the rock moves slowly aside to reveal a passageway. So you can kind of see the outline there. It's a very nice little puzzle. Is that it? Ooh! The cold water from the limestone drips on your neck, sending shivers down your spine. So it's pretty cool. What's this? This is a concave polygon. It seems to have been carefully carved into the stone. Gem? No. I'm always wrong on my first guess. I always I just want to use that red gem. Blue gem. As soon as you place the blue gem in the hole, you hear the sound of grinding stone. The wall slowly rises to reveal a magical image of an old wizard. Woo! I love how that dude. Look at him with his beard whooshing. When I was little, I used to look at it like... The, I can only see one red dot. Like, there's two red dots for his eyes, and that's a beard. But it always looked to me like... That's his a big pointy nose sticking out on the right. He just has like one red eye. It's like a side view. Listen, warrior, the warlock lord can only be defeated by the courage and the staff of ages. Remember, five to find, three for the staff, one to be the key, and one to be thy pathway. <gasps> three one one three eleven. <gasps> that was yesterday. <laughs> Have thy wits about thee, warrior. Fare thee well. The wall slides back into place, hiding the image from your sight. A scroll appears! Can we just open the scroll on the ground? Yeah. You've read the scroll. The scroll reads, As the shadow of the wind thou shalt be, Humana. I learned one magic spell. As the spell was chanted, the scroll quickly vanished. Pew! So once again, don't have to pick it up, open it, skip a step. Alright. So this is just the little secret room. We just had to go in here to get that. Now we have the ability to move, like, the wind. So we're back in the Elven Funhouse Mirror Room. So... Let's... I mean, I don't know about you guys, but I always wanted to do this in the Funhouse. Let's smash some mirrors! As soon as you break the mirror, shards of glass fly through the air and slice into your body. Blood pours from your wounds and your body slumps to the floor. Jesus. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay. It, it can't be the middle. I mean, the middle's just, like, too obvious, right? You have opened a magic portal into deep space. You are immediately sucked through. The lack of air causes you to quickly lose consciousness. The Grim Reaper quickly embraces you. Portal to space. You know, just portal to space in the middle of a castle. How the heck do we expect to, to beat this warlock? Alright. You know, I didn't want it to be the middle, because that's just so obvious, but... Bellowing like some Norse god, you smash the hammer into the mirror. I get that reference. You shatter the mirror, revealing an iron door. Can we open it? Oh no! What key have we used? Oh yeah, this one! Click, it opens. Alright! Let's go! This room is incredibly hot. This must be what the lower levels of Gehenna are like. Oh, crap, let's open that door. The door is open. Suddenly, you feel a gust of wind. A searing blast of heat knocks you across the room. <gasps> Whoa! A flaming horror appears at the end of the bridge. Well, it's pretty hot in here, and the only thing we have to fight that is an icy sphere. Let's throw it in the fire! You hurl the sphere into the fire below you. The hell-spawned flames quickly vanish as soon as the sphere touches them. With nothing to feed itself on, the fire drink immediately follows suit. But sadly, our sphere is gone! No more magical ice sphere. Goodbye, magical ice sphere. Alright, let's get out of here. Sharp cold wind whips up over the ledge of the 
Dark Chasm. Um, I wanted to... Actually, I forgot I had all those bottles. What are they? It's a small silver bottle. What is it? It sure smells terrible. The small silver vial glows with a lustrous shine. You notice that the bottle is impossibly light. Cool. Okay. Let's remember that. Bottle 2. Bottle 2. We gotta remember bottle 2. Because I always forget what bottle it is, but you just have to look at it, and you'll know. Okay, let's cross the bridge. <gasps> Gotta be the troll toll! As you step on the bridge, a troll appears and says, This bridge is mine! It'll cost you a gold coin to cross. Ooh. Ooh. Well, I don't have a gold coin. But I'm pretty sure I have the ability to move like a wind shadow. Uh-oh, the wind has suddenly died down. Nothing happens. There must be something missing. Ugh, I guess I, I don't know what to do, guys. You know what? When it comes down to it, you know what I say to trolls? Taste my spear. The troll falls silently into the dark cavern. You listen, but you do not hear him crash. Screw that guy. The moon casts a brilliant shadow over the grounds of the courtyard. Cyclops stands before you, ready for battle. Well, you, you just, you just hang out there, Mr. Man. The crank turns rather easily at the end of the rope. There's a small bucket. Well, you know what you have to do with buckets? You gotta open them. You gotta open. Ooh, a gauntlet. I'll, I'll be having that. Oh, dude, this, this is my favorite music. This, this room specifically. Yeah, this music here. Oh. This whole soundtrack is just beautiful. Um, so... We got a little Cyclopsy man here. Let's use stone! I want to use it on the sling! Now let's use the sling! And let's pop him in the eyeball! As soon as you start toiling the sling, a magical influence takes over your body. You cry out, DEATH TO THE PHILISTINE! And release the stone. Bullseye! Is that like a David and Goliath reference? Was Goliath a Philistine? Boom, he's down! Let's open that door. Peace out, Cyclops! It's a long, drafty hallway with one flight of stairs and several open passages. So something I liked about this room on the nest is the way it would load. You could actually see that, like... Or not here, I think it's another room. You can burn the carpet if you want. Which I think is just funny. Uh, let's move. First room? Yes! Ah, you stand in a small library. So we need to take the map. We'll take the book. We'll open a drawer. Let's open scroll three. Land under the heavens, the key to the world. Terra Tarak. Okay. I'm not sure what that one means. Uh, scroll four. To move the sun from far to near, light is what the darkness fears. Instantum Illumina. It's the light. Cool. Uh, let's take key. And I think I don't need to even pick these up. I can use glasses. Oh, I can't use what you don't have. Okay, so we'll take the glasses. And we'll do this the fun way. Which is... Let's look at the book. This book looks quite old. The words, the prophecy is written on it. Let's open the book. You can't read the strange writing in the book. Well, if I know Vigi games, which I do, let's use the glasses on our 
yourself. You try the glasses on, they fit perfectly. Hmm, you can see very well. Okay, now let's open the book. Oh, it's already open, so now let's look at the book. Wow, with these glasses you can understand and read what you cannot before. The light grows faint, the path winds round. Where life is lost, wisdom is found. The seed of the dream, for the evil is free. Where the sword is hung, he must place the key. A bridge to from the midst burning death. The demon to guard, Otari Ariza. Ooh. So now we can finally, 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 let's use that last gem. <gasps> Hidden passage as that bookcase slats away. Let's take another skull just because. I don't think I need that many skulls. I think it just gives you a chance to get a lot of skulls. The room is dominated by a large fireplace set in a red brick wall. Okay, we're gonna need a few things. Let's take a poker. Hey, let's take the bellows. Let's take a cup. Uh, you know what? It's a little chilly in here. Yay, that's nice. Okay, so... I remember us going around and just saying all these, so if we do... Terra Tarak. Because if we... There's a large globe mount on a stand for display. It shows all the known lands. Looking closely, you can see a seam along the equator. Well, let us speak Terra Tarak. A large crack appears around the equator of the globe. <gasps> well, you look at that. Terra Terrac, almost like like Earth break Earth. We can open the globe. Oh, more stuff. Let's take key five or key six and another bottle. Dope. All right. Leave a fire burning for the next person. No, we, uh, we were actually, I think that's the game me and Cube were talking, Cube was talking about before, that I want to look up how to play. Yeah, 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 no, I haven't played that one, but this, that's one I do want to play. He said Sega CD before, but no, I do want to play that one as it is just more of a traditional point-and-click adventure. I do want to try that someday. It smells like a kennel in here, and there are no windows through which to circulate fresh air. Oh, I love this room. Because we do this and just end our life. Let's open this. You remove the latch and a mutated dog pounces on you. It looks like the doctor put something strange in the dog's water. Before you can do anything else, the mutation quickly rips you apart. Yeah, I, I want to try it specifically because of that idea. Uh, I love me a King's Quest. So many unnecessary things. Let's take a horseshoe. And let's... Oh, do I have two bottle twos? So do I have two incredibly light potions? I guess they must give you a couple to make sure you're not a dumb dumb. So watch this. See that? Wait, can I just... I thought... Stone rises slowly out of the floor. A shining vial is inside. <gasps> Alright, let's take that holy water. small garden, the only sound is the falling water in the night. So I love this room, because if we look at the fountain, the exquisite marble fountain is shaped into the image of a sea serpent. From its mouth spews an acidic liquid! 
So if you don't look at that, and you're just like, oh, let me get that flute. As you reach for the flute, you touch the water, and pain explodes through your hand. The water's extremely acidic, and obviously not good for drinking. No, I won it. Oh, so you can't, like, you can't even... I thought I could kill myself with it. Use the water on myself. Kneeling down next to the fountain, you drink a handful of the acidic water. You can't even scream because you no longer have a throat, let alone a larynx. Oh! This game just lets you kill yourself. Okay, so... Cool thing about this room. Which again, it's very logical. What did I pick up not too long ago? It was a gauntlet. So let's use the gauntlet on the flute. No, <laughs> use gauntlet on myself. Place the gauntlet on your hand. It feels like it was made just for you. Now with our gauntlet, let's take the flute. By using the silver gauntlet, you can move the flute easily. The sound of the water splashing is music to your ears. Nice. Let's play it. The sound of the flute is very pretty indeed. It seems like you wake from a dream only to find a hole in the tree. Is it real? The flute's, the flute's music is like magic. Oh, it's a ring. Cool, cool. Got a ring. Yes, it is I, Sir Robo of Duke, on an adventure to Bunga. You got my leprechaun flute. <laughs> I mean, that'd be even funnier if it did play, like... Oh no! Torch. It's torch time. Torch, time, torch, time. Let's use a torch. Now we do. I love this route. Did you see that at the bottom? <laughs> You're awed by the majestic beauty of this immense banquet hall. So if you notice, as we were coming in, there was like a rip here on the rug. Like there was a square. And I remember, as, that's what I noticed as a kid. I walked in the room and I was like, wait, 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 wait. The rug quickly catches on fire and burns away. A key can be seen. I remember noticing that as a kid and being like, wait, there's something there. Burn the rug. And it worked. Right? Great. Uh, let's see. I think I have to take more shit. I need a shield. A crest. I need a mirror. Can I take the tapestry? Oh, okay. Well, I don't need the tapestry. No. <gasps> locked, locked. Locked. Kids are hooked on the Roblox, eh? I was trying to use the key on the pillar, I accidentally hit the touchpad. Ooh, key four works there. Does key four work here? No, I seem to be wasting my time. Uh, key six? Nope. his flute. Let's take his gold. I'm not saving because I'm gonna die or anything. Gimme! Oh! As you move the pot, you realize that you have fallen for the oldest trick in the book. You suddenly find yourself knee-deep in the boat. It seems that the alligators really enjoy your company. Oh! Brutal. My greed! No! This game just punishes you for ever being greedy. If you see a bunch of gold, don't take is the lesson of this game. But what we can do is open this bag. <gasps> a 
Oh, look at that! There's some gold anyway! And a big coin! I wanna look at it first. I can't remember what the big coin looks like. It is a large gold coin with a well engraved on it. Ooh, ooh okay. So let's take that big coin. Fireball suddenly appears in the room and causes you to shield your eyes. When you open them, you notice that the fire has changed to something far more menacing. What is it? The Hellhound makes this hot room even hotter. There must be a way to cool the room off before you roast. Well, it's getting hot in here. Oh, yeah. oh just, just wait, man. It's gonna get... Just, just wait. Uh, the Demon Dog snarls and pounces on you. It's tea. Dead. This is the death run. cross on it. So let's use the water on the Hellhound. The holy water has sent the Hellhound back to the place where it was spawned. Yeah, get him out of here. The flame died out, the room is quiet, as though nothing had happened. See, and we knew how to do that as kids, because we went to Catholic school. It's a Hellhound, you throw holy water at it. I mean, you learn that in, like, kindergarten in Catholic school, how to deal with Hellhounds. Oh, hi! Um... Bye! Do I have, Did I miss a key? Do I have key five? There it is. Okay. I knew I had it. Gotta go this way. Hey! There we go. It's like, there's no way I missed a key. to be a sphinx. It looks at you differently. Oh, I love the sphinx. Look at this guy. Also, look at the steps. Right? So we got right, middle, right. Right, middle, right. Gotta remember that. Such a difficult puzzle we've has been placed before us. <laughs> oh, look at this dude. He's so majestic. What up, dude? You have stumbled upon a sphinx that has the body of a lion and the head of a man. Um... Hello? It doesn't understand what I say. <laughs> can you imagine, like, I know a few of us own cats here, and cats can be a little smelly sometimes. Can you imagine how a giant cat smell? I mean, cats usually aren't smelly, but they can be. Probably smells like the tiger cage at the Philadelphia Zoo in here. Hello, Snarf! As you moved, the Sphinx spoke. Who are you? No one may pass without my permission. To pass, you must answer a riddle. Long neck, no hands. A hundred legs, cannot stand. Born of forest nest, against a wall, I rest. Dost thou know? Bring me the answer to my riddle, and I shall let thee pass. So I love that. It, it, this was one of my favorite parts in the game. I remember my friend earlier, my best friend as a kid, we, I played this with him and his family. His dad 
dad was the one who really loved this part. He was all about these riddles. Uh, I don't know if this was the one I figured out, but it's a broom. Show him the broom. You have correctly answered my riddle, warrior. Now may pass through. A lot of good riddles. Anytime you want to go past them, you have to answer a riddle. And so many of the things you've picked up along the way are just answers to his riddles. Like, the helmet, I think, is just an answer to one of his riddles. You can never put it on yourself. Uh, a telescope is beside the window. A star map is on the wall. This must be an observatory. Scroll, let's open it. Observing the stars, the throne constellation appears once every five summers. Legend says that it's a portal to another land. Okay, uh, let's take a star? That, I think, is the funniest thing. Oh, I mean, I could do that, too. Well, if there's, if, if there's more riddles, but I, I don't, I'm actually not gonna have to go past them again. Uh, here's one of my favorite little puzzles. Open a map. I find it so weird. You open the map. You also take stars off the map. Like, you just literally are like, oh, and you take stars off a star map. Ooh, cast iron rod. Inanimate carbon rod. Can I use the telescope? I don't know if I can. As you peer through the telescope, you're amazed by the clarity of the night sky. Oh, nice. Pretty. I did not save because this ladder is going to kill me. And look at that. Whoa! You are so captivated by the woman's beauty that you momentarily forget her predicament. Yes! In the moonlight, she's even more beautiful. This fine last lies upon the floor, chained to the wall. She is extremely beautiful. They're really driving home. It doesn't seem to understand what you say. I can't... The lady's like, I don't know. What's this? It's some sort of spike that is made of precious metals. Ouch! The tips are as sharp as needles. Look, honey, you're very sweet, but uh, I need the- Whoa! With a loud roar, the wolf pounces on you, taking your life. The wolf's powerful jaws rip your throat out. Okay, not a sexy lady, and obviously, that's why she didn't understand me, because she's a wolf. <laughs> I mean, like... I think we've all had, uh... <laughs> I think we've all had an experience where a woman, you know, gone feral and ripped our throat out. So knowing that she's a wolf... Let's look back through our things. There it is. Look, let's look at this arrow. A finely crafted silver arrow is not uncommon in the elven lands. Is that where we are? Well... Uh, let's kill her. Let's just, you know. She's a wolf. Your aim is true as you plunge the silver arrow into the beautiful world. The beautiful lady suddenly transforms into a wolf! Gotcha. That was another puzzle where I was like, what do we use to kill her? Oh wait, that's silver. You just gotta look at everything. Yeah, we got the blade. You stepped away and the beautiful woman was actually a wolf. And when I tried to pick up the thing that was on the ground, she ripped my throat out. So that that is a part in the game where you have to die. Like, you... I, when we played this as kids, we, uh... Oh, at JP, you were saying that. Yeah. Just, you know, saying how women are wild wolves. Yeah, uh... You kind of have to die there. Realize she's a wolf to then uh, know you need to kill her with something silver because she's a werewolf. So, like, you, you kind of have to die there to continue. I'm running low on torches because I'm taking my time. That's okay. 
if I die, I die. Bye, Sphinx! I'll never see you again! Love you! Okay, now we can go... No, the other way! Music hasn't changed, so we're okay. Hold on. It's New Jersey, bitches. Alright, uh, this way? Yep, we'll go this way first. Oh no! Light that torch. Start kicking into overdrive so I don't die. Let's use the inanimate carbon rod on this little hole because there's lightning. No, I. Carbon rod on the tiny. Pixel perfect, baby. Pixel perfect. Suddenly the sky seems to be on fire as a bolt of pure lightning strikes the rod. You're startled to see a skeletal hand rise from a hole that is formed at your feet. <gasps> uh, <laughs> this is one of my favorite parts, ready? The wand is in hand. As you take the wand from the skeletal hand, it begins to descend. The hole then closes up as if it had never been. I like this one. Alright, now we have a magic wand. Alright. Just call me old HP. Wait, I have to go. Let's go back. Let's go back again. Let's actually go this way. And let's go to the top of the tower. It's a wyvern. This beastie is a distant cousin of a dragon, but is smaller and fiercer. So this part, we we just did this by trying everything on this guy. Now remember, we Peeled a star off a star map hanging on a wall. Let's chuck it at this guy. The star becomes a flash of light as you launch it. Crash! It strikes the wyvern and it explodes into a million pieces. Who just leaves something like that laying around? Alright, we got the talisman. Let's keep going. Like, there's a lot about this game that doesn't make logical sense. You know, so... I'm still astounded we ever got past this. Um, now there's something important I think about that wand. Let's look at the wand. It's a wand of sorts. Carved into the side of the wand is a small picture of a serpent. Huh. Now we've only seen a serpent in one of their places, so we gotta go back. We gotta go way back. We gotta go way back. Way back. Way back. Let's go back again. Let's go back another time. Let's go through here. Uh, let's go through here. Hey! Look, there's some snakes! Ernest is always a timely reference here on the RoboDude channel. I'd be willing to bet I've said it before, but one of my favorite random Ernest facts uh, is Ernest Scared Stupid. The trolls, right? They're trolls in that? Yeah, they're trolls. The trolls, the, the, the masks, are actually repurposed from Killer Clowns from Outer Space. They're the exact same shapes, they just painted them to look like trolls instead. I, I love it. So they've sat around since Killer Clowns from Outer Space was made, and then they repurposed those masks for that movie. I watched that movie a lot as a kid. I loved that movie, but I loved Halloween. I still love Halloween, but it was my it's my favorite, and as a child it was my absolute favorite. Uh, so we have the rickety bridge here. Hey, dude, I think of that all the time. I go to get milk, and I'm always thinking, like, meak. Bavarian Miak. <laughs> Think of that all the time. Okay, uh, I have like so many bottle twos. There's a bottle two. There's a bottle two. And the reason they do that is let me look at it real quick. Uh, Silver glows with lustrous shine. So the bottle isn't possibly light. So 
let's use the bottle. On myself. I drink the liquid and immediately I rise in the air. So now I'm floating. So now we can float over this bridge. And what else do we encounter but a giant snake confronts you in this small cave. I remember when we got to this point. Where like we started look we were just looking at all the bottles, we didn't know what to do next, and and not with the snake before we crossed the bridge. We figured that out. Like lighter than air, cool, we can cross the bridge, we get to the snake. And of course the first thing you always do is look at everything. Look at the snake. It's a giant snake! It doesn't move. Perhaps it's getting ready to strike. You wait for the creature to kill you, but it still has yet to move. Upon closer inspection, you laugh at your foolishness. It's only a statue! Uh, let's hit it. Let's break it. Nothing happened. Okay. Now, the reason I looked at that wand before, as we saw, it, uh, it had a, oh, a snake. There was a snake on the wand, so let's take the wand and use it on the snake. The snake begins to shake. It's shudder. Is it just your eyes? Or is it shrinking? Kaboom! <gasps> the serpent statue begins to change. It grows smaller and smaller. It de dematerializes and forms anew as a staff of tremendous beauty. Druidic script winds its way around the staff. You can feel power emanating from it. Ooh. Let's get that staff. The staff! Alright, we're out of here. Suddenly you feel heavier than you did only a moment ago, so now we're back on the ground. Let's move forward again. Alright. We're moving, baby. We're moving. Trucking along. Let's go! <gasps> the troll says you must pay a toll of one gold coin. Oh no! I don't want to give up my gold coins, but he has my spear! See, I that was the thing. Scared Stupid was my last Ernest movie. That that was the last. That's the last one. No slam dunk Ernest. No Ernest goes to Africa. Definitely not that. That I can't. Oh my God! Can you imagine like how like culturally insensitive Ernest goes to Africa probably is now? Oh, no slam dunk Ernest. No, was there a Surf's Up Ernest? Or am I crossing that with that weird? Carrot Top movie. Because I always think of the cover of that where he's like sur surfing, it's like head of the boardroom or something. I can't remember. Oh, God. Uh, anyway, there's a cold wind whipping around now uh, in this zone. So, let us speak Humana. The spell is chanted Humana. As soon as the magic is invoked, you lose sight of yourself. You're as invisible as the wind. Whoosh! We just run right past him. So you can't get past him the first time because the wind vanishes. So you just chuck the spear at him and he falls. And then we use a magic spell. Oh my god. Of course, of course Ernest joined the army. Any any chance for military propaganda in the 90s? Are you kidding me? I mean, any time, but it was really bad in the 90s. How, how much we... Ugh. Anyway, so the Cyclops is back, but... Lucky for me, I've got two more stones, and I still got my sling. Eyeball. As soon as you start twirling the sling, death to the Philistine, he down again, and we move on. I can never speed run this game, but I definitely can just, like, truck on through it. Uh, right? Hey! Oh, dude, Rambo 3's hilarious. The end where it's like, thank you to our Afghani brothers, or like, Palestinian brothers or something, and then, like, I remember us, me and my friends watching at a time when we were, like, at war, quote, unquote, with them, and we were like, woohoo. So here we go. What's up, dude? You know what? I actually found, there was, there was another uh, king I saw way earlier in the game, and uh, we just burned his embalmed body for this scepter. Do you want it? Of course he does. Ooh. As soon as you give the scepter to the skeleton, the seal on the pillar lowers. You can now see a ring-shaped hole. Well, what did I get outside for playing my magical little leprechaun flute? And I found in the tree, but a ring. So let's use that ring. 
on that hole. That's what she said. The ring fits perfectly. The throne magically rises, revealing a secret passageway. Let's go. This hallway is made of large granite slabs. Torch time! So, once again, oh, let's go this way. Without thinking, you jump through the opening and immediately hear a loud click. Suddenly, the granite slab above you gives way and crushes you beneath it. It breaks everything in your body. Like, man! You're like, I'm just gonna go this way for Ed, you're dead. Hope you saved. I don't know if continue just puts you in the room before, or if it actually loads your save. I think savings to actually load later. So this game might be pretty generous with continue. Alright, so let's not go that way. Let's go this way. On the opposite wall are a pair of stone beasts guarding a dark archway. Okay, so... We won't go that way, we'll go that way. Sulfurous Sulfurous fumes rise from the hot molten lava. 30 feet below you. Swimming would not be wise, actually, so let's go back. I don't think I want to go that way yet. I don't remember. Do I? Yeah, no, I want to go that way first. Okay. This huge statue is made of precious metal that holds a basin of smoldering coals. Yeah, I know. Oh no, I just lit two towards. Ah, whatever. Shouting a battle cry, you catapult yourself off the platform. You are a brave warrior, but stupid. Your body explodes as you plunge into the lava. I'd love to just, like, this dude just, he commits to whatever you tell him to do. Like, he is just an avatar for my stupidity. Like, I'm able to just be like, yeah, move into that lava, and he just does it. Like, Oh my god, it's it's so ridiculous. Uh, so this is another instance, like the, uh, yeah, self, move self. So, we got some lava, I can't remember what it said for the spell, but we want to speak Motari. Statue lowers, and a large platform rises out of the lava. You now have a way across. The, when you originally get the spell, it says something about, like, lava and a monster. As much as he keeps appearing. <laughs> Stalagmites surround this room like the cavernous jaws of a huge beast. Okay, um... Whoa! I love how this guy looks. Look how he's so fuzzy! I know, like, it's bad, but look how cute and fuzzy he is. He's so fuzzy. I really like him. You look the sleeping guard from his beauty sleep. Gorgeous monster. He decides to eat you for breakfast. He doesn't like me, though. I may think he's very cute, but he eats my face. Uh, so now... If we think back to the Sphinx... Right. Middle. Right. Oh! Scream! The cylinder lifts with a shuddering sound. You're momentarily dazzled as the darkness is lit by a blinding flash. The silver orb is revealed! As soon as you remove the orb, we have the orb. Suddenly, the beasts begin to shudder in their eyes, begin to glow red. The gargoyles, angered at your presence, spring from the frozen state and rip you to pieces. There's nothing left of you to even feed to the birds. Whew. So, there are gargoyles. If 
Fine, no. Gremlins 2. They don't like light. The spell is chanted. Illumina! Suddenly the cavern is so bright that you have to shade your eyes. It takes you a few moments to regain your senses from the Nova Burst. It seems the gargoyles were also affected and haven't yet recovered from the spell. Go, go, go! This room seems to be made solely for the purpose of housing the well. The door is covered with dust and dirt. The door is locked. So, once again, that... Wait, what? Why are you banned? Why did it say that? Where did you do that? Oh, I was like, wait, what just happened? Sorry. There was a, a moment there where I was like, whoa, wait, what? Because the color. Very nice, though. That was good. I didn't know. That was good. All right. Uh, let's... let's open the well. Cover the well is open. And now there's a way to go. All right, let's go. Woo! With a mighty leap, you jump headfirst into the well on the way down. You see the water below. The well was deeper than you imagined. You've just broken every bone in your body. Again. So there are rooms in this game that just make you feel stuck. Like, you can't open that door, you open this well, you go to jump down, you're dead. But if we remember, when I picked up those coins, gold coins, there was a big coin. The, the original Bitcoin, the big coin, uh, had a picture of a well on it, so we throw it down the well. As soon as you throw the coin into the well, a huge wind erupts from it. It reminds you of the small dust devils you see in the autumn months. So now that we've got a little bit of movement, woo! Got some wind. Ah! Oh! So it's like... Dude, that's like some, like... That's like some, like, old-school, like... Oh, wow, actually, if I hit Slash, it actually gives me... All these, like... Oh, wow, it shows me all the stuff I can do. Why didn't I do that? Oh, that's cool. It shows me all the predictions for, like, chat and stuff. I haven't really tried that since I'm on, you know, I'm using PS4, so, like, I have the my PC here to monitor stuff. Which is cute. But it did not. I didn't know that. Neat. Alright. Uh, the swirling winds carry you down the deep well, set you gently into the cavern below. Stand above the beach, looking down upon a river. Uh, well, I know what I gotta do when I'm presented with a gong. After the gong sounds, a specter materializes right before your eyes. The ghostly ferryman doesn't look friendly. You hear a faint voice ask for a fare. Um... Sure. The cool thing about death is, when crossing... Like, this is a different death, because it's not death, this is Sharon. You give him a copper coin. The ferryman will not take the copper coin as a fare. Suddenly, he disappears. <laughs> I like that. He's just like, get out of here. Oh, did he not look happy with me? Is that what it said? Did it say he doesn't look happy with me because I called him again? He's like, you, I swear to God, if you give me a copper coin again, I swear. So the trick is, too, with the troll, if you give him a gold coin, he just asks for another. And another and another. So what ends up happening is you screw yourself. If you give the troll all your gold coins, you can't... you can't get past this guy. Hi! The 
The ferryman takes the coin and gestures you to board quickly. Alright. Move on to the ferry. Climb board the tiny raft and soon reach the opposite bank. A stone skull demand a stone skull stands against the far wall, screaming silently. For some reason you get the feeling you're standing on sacred ground. Alright. So do I still have the scroll? Cause this is where stuff gets weird and or was it in the book? In the book that had oh yeah the book did the book have like the full prophecy in it? Is the book gone? Oh oh I guess I didn't pick up the scroll with the uh, the prophecy on it. Oh man hold on I want to see because like this is what. I just kind of want to explain what we had to figure out as kids, which... I am still just... Like, astounded with? Because, like... Oh, there we go. Let's see, uh... So... We have, I, I, I got it here. I pulled it up on my computer, so... Uh, the first scroll you find in the game. Uh, five to find. Three are one. One gives access. The Bladed Sun. The Silver Orb to banish below. The Staff of Ages to vanquish the foe. Joining two. The Golden Blade. The last to invoke. The Platinum Horn. So that's going to come into play in a moment, but there's another one. There's the book. Where's the book? Is it the book that has it? Because one of them has... Why is the book not here? Is it almost the book and the items? This person has all their, like, flavor text and stuff. <laughs> they put that prophecy in. So, anyway, there was another one that said a thing about, like, hang the, what is it, uh, to hang something where, where the sword, where you hang the sword to gain access. So what we can, let's see, not the blade, uh, the talisman. So if we use the talisman, uh, let's use on the crown. No laser eyes! You have placed the bladed sun in the wrong hole. You did not heed the warnings. Now the warlock lord's defense is dead. Ugh. Oh. We already gave him a gold coin, so we can just hop on the boat. Oh, is that what it's? One gives access to the bladed sun, right? Five to find three or one. One gives access to the bladed sun. Right, so... Five to find. So we found... There's five things we have to find. The horn, the blade... Staff, the orb, and the horn. So it's it's the five things: horn, blade, talisman, staff, orb. You have to find those five things. I'm just saying five to find, and three are one. So what they're saying is you have to find the five different items. Three of them go together, or something. I don't know. It's so weird. One gives access: the bladed sun. The bladed sun is the talisman which gives us access to the final place. This rather heavy talisman made of gold and is extremely sharp along its edges. It shines with an incredible brilliance. So. <laughs> he does, I mean, yeah, it's, it's a bit much, but I mean, hey, man, I, I ain't gonna body shame either direction unless, you know, you know, if, if, you get, if you've got problems, you know, you gotta go do something. I mean, I'm a skeleton man in real life. I'm a total skeleton man. I'm six foot three, 175. I, I'm a skeleton. Skeleton. Uh, I can't remember what the. So anyway, they talk about hanging the bleeding, bleeding sun, uh, with the sword. So you also could just process of elimination, figure it out by putting them all in there. So that open. Uh, but there also was another thing I think it said uh, about. Uh, We have to speak. Oh, 
Atari? Illumina? Did I miss something and screw up? Oh, no, 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 I remember. Okay. Wait, wait, I got it. There's another thing we have to do. Suddenly you hear the sound of grinding rock. The jaw of the skull begins to descend. Hot wind erupts from the mouth, creating the illusion that the stone skull is alive. Here it goes. For a moment there, I was like, I did not miss something. I was like, if I missed something... I was like, there's no way I missed something. Alright, light the torch. Let's move in the room. Oh no! The cavern that you have entered is by far the largest your eyes have ever gazed upon. Oh, so cool! <gasps> no! I love that noise. Boring. Me hungry. From the depths rises the most powerful creature that has ever existed. The Behemoth. Your stomach knots up as you stare at this new horror. The beast is indeed incredible. You wonder for a moment. Although his back is turned, you know that beyond a shadow doubt that it's the Warlock Lord. It seems like his staff is controlling the creature and keeping it at bay. So, I'm not allowed to save in here. So, five to find, three are one, one gives access to the Bladed Sun. Got it. The Silver Orb to banish below the Staff of Ages to vanquish the foe. Okay, so let's following those instructions what you are supposed to do is we will use uh we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna use the uh where is it we're gonna use the orb on the staff no no we're gonna use the orb I thought that was right no? Okay, let's use the staff. No, I think it's the other way. So let's use blade. Because the staff has kind of like a slot top. There we go. Suddenly, lightning begins to flash in the room. Then the golden spike slides smoothly into the staff and locks into place. <gasps> and now we will use the orb on the staff. It's, it's build your own wizard staff. We have built our own wizard staff. So somebody took a staff of great power, split it into three pieces, and hid them away. Light cascades through the room as the staff becomes a living entity. The call to battle. Now, let's... Alright, wizard. You're done for! Oh, no! What? Come on. The Warlock Lord feels your presence and knows that you are the seed that must be destroyed. Flame shoots forth from his staff and engulfs your body. You have failed. Oh, yeah? Oh, there are little wizards. Oh! Look at that! I got a trophy called Almost There. That gave me a trophy for... I didn't do that the last time I played this game, so it's like, oh, you were so close! But we get to watch this again. Oh, he's so cool. Ah, no! Oh, do I have to build it again? So remember that sword I got? Never used it. Never used the sword. Right? I never used the sword, right? Yeah, you pick up that sword, and you're like, alright, I'm a hero, I've got a sword. Ass, but you know. All right. So if we don't shoot the wizard, let's shoot him. You pray as you raise the staff of ages that it has the power that the prophets claimed. The 
staff pulsates with power, and a beam of light explodes from it, striking the beam. Sounds like a Friday night. <gasps> Bye. Thank you for lunch. This warlock lord will taste delicious. Thank you. Goodbye. No -ho -ho -ho. The creature screams in agony, thrashing back and forth in great pain. In his rage, he grabs the warlock lord and descends into the depths forever. You can hear the warlock lord's screams fade into silence. Suddenly, it is very quiet. A beautiful light seems to fill the cavern. The morning sun, you say to yourself, it is over. Although exhausted, you lean on the Staff of Ages and begin your long journey. Oh, this music's so good! A uh, word of your historic quest has already reached the farthest parts of the land. You are triumphantly greeted as you enter the gates of the royal city of Stormhaven. Moments later, you are ushered into the royal palace where you are greeted by the king. I know what thou hast done, great one. The world would be dark forever without thee. I mean, I don't. I feel like my brain isn't as strong as it was as a child when I figured this game out. You have restored a kingdom to rule, and the king's fair daughter's hand. I, I, can I get to know her first, man? I just had to stab a woman with a silver arrow. I've been through a lot. I, I, I don't know if I'm ready to marry anybody. At the moment. Uh, yes. They got some legs, dude. They are all leg. Those guards are all legs. And the king is gigantic! Like, he's huge! Like, look at me in the in the foreground there. And look at the king and his daughter. Like, uh, hopefully my dude here is into giantesses. Uh, as you leave the throne room, you know that although this quest is over, others await. After all, the bards will need new legends to sing of and new tales to tell. The first stories end. Oh, wow, it gives me some credits. I forgot it did that. Yeah, that was a very Dark Souls king, as big as he is. Ooh. What is this song? Ooh, this is the jam right here. Oh, damn! I am into this. never leaves my brain. This track is just in the back of my brain, like these skeletons just hiding and waiting to haunt me forever. Thanks, guys. I love Shadowgate so much. It's such a good game. I'm so glad I got to play through it in its entirety here with you guys. I would do it any day of the week. <laughs> I just... <laughs> I think uh, I have a playthrough of this on my YouTube right now. I, I want to get it too just to play rock and roll racing. Because I love rock and roll racing and hearing that it has the uh, original tracks in it. 
You think I'm leaving that quick, JP? You know I always talk too much at the end. Um, unless you have to go. If so, see you later. Uh, yeah, I do really want to play that. Oh, wow, look at this. I have two files. Are they both at the end? Oh! I didn't finish my last playthrough. Interesting. Nice! Doing rock and roll racing? I love that game. That's another one of my old school, like, maybe top ten favorites. Oh, this music's... All the music in this is great. I love uh, the Chemco style of music. There's something about... Actually, is there someone specific? Let me try to close out and get sidetracked, as always. Uh, I wanna... Like, did he specifically work with Chemco or something? Rich Douglas. Oh no, that's the newer one. No, 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 I don't want the newer one. I want the old one. Oh, there we go. Hiroyuki Masu. So, uh, oh, of course. Uh, Japanese programmer, sound composer, main audio... He was the main audio designer at Chemco, who did Deja Vu, Shadowgate, and Uninvited. Uh, yeah, he started his career in Chemco in 1985. Yeah, and he worked... These are his, uh... Did he do anything else, I wonder? Snoopy's Silly Sports Spectacular. Oh my god, yeah, it makes sense. He did Bugs Bunny's Crazy Castle on Game Boy, yeah. He did Snoopy games. He did the music in North and South? He did some music in that? He did Top Gear on the SNES. Oh, there was a Game Boy, yet yeah, Shadowgate Classic on Game Boy Color, as brought up earlier in the stream, with this cool black uh, cartridge. Kid Clown in Nightmare World. M-A-Y-O-R. Weird. And apparently there's Deja Vu and Deja Vu 2. Uh, they put out a Game Boy Color double of that. I guess it may not have come out here. He did, actually. It says he did Spy vs. Spy, yeah. Mad Magazine's uh, official Spy vs. Spy for Game Boy. He may have done the original... Yeah, he did! He's the Spy vs. Spy guy. I guess because was Spy vs. Spy also uh, Chemco? No, it was Kotobuki. But it was Chemco, yeah. He was Chemco's guy. So apparently he, uh... Oh, man. So, yeah, Hiroyuki Masuno. You freaking rule, dude. You're the man. You, you have made some of my favorite music, uh, ever. Some of my favorite music ever, dude. Big ups to this guy. He's awesome. The Chemco Music Man. Very cool. Oh, man. So, anyway, at that, I'm gonna get out of here, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, be sure to follow me here. You can follow me on Twitter, at RoboDude. You can follow me on Instagram, I'm everywhere as RoboDude. Be sure to check out HotBloodedChallenger.club to join the Hot Blooded Challenger Club Patreon for as little as a dollar a month. But you should get more and get yourself some cool stuff like t-shirts and other nifty things. Uh, be sure to go to OneRadPodcast.com to check to check out all our podcasts, 20 X Saturday Morning Crunch, and Gotta Go Cast, and Spay and Neuter Your Pets a page out of Bob Barker's book. Always a good thing to say. Spay and neuter those pets. Keep your cats in the house. Um, I guess. I don't know. So that's like a thing now. I keep seeing people being like, keep your cats in the house. And I'm like, I grew up with an indoor-outdoor cat, so I don't know. Um, but that was the old days. The old days of sh That was when I used to play Shadowgate. That same neighbor. Hey, God, I go too long. Bye, guys. You're great. See you later. Follow me and stuff. Tell your friends. Love you.